Okay, our first real problem that we're going to have is x double prime, so second derivative of x, minus 2 times first derivative of x, minus 3x, is equal to 6 minus 8e to the t. Now, you haven't seen anything like this so far in this DVD set because um, this is a non-homogeneous equation. You look at it and you say, well, the right-hand side is not 0. Up until now, they've all been 0, so it's non-homogeneous. You look back through and you see it's linear, and you look and you see constant coefficients everywhere, so it's constant coefficients, it's, it's uh, non-homogeneous, and it's linear. So, uh, you know, there's not any square roots running around on top of derivatives or anything, so it's linear. So we are able to use this method of what we call undetermined coefficients. We haven't even gotten into why it's called undetermined coefficients yet. You'll see that as we actually do the solution. So the first thing we need to do, step number one, right, we're going to solve the related homogeneous equation. The related homogeneous equation. What do I mean by that? We are literally going to take the right-hand side and just set it equal to zero. So the, the, the related homogeneous version is going to be, uh, now we're going to convert to operator notation, d squared minus 2d minus 3 operating on x is equal to zero. We haven't annihilated anything yet. I realize that's a little bit confusing because I just told you about this annihilator method. We're going to use that later. That's not what we've done here. All we did is we literally just take the right-hand side, set it equal to zero. That's what we call the related, related, that's what it means. You take the original guy, set it equal to zero. Let's solve this equation, and we're going to get basically half of the total answer once we do that. Now this is straight out of the last couple of sections. You know how to do this. We're going to do the same thing. r squared minus 2r minus 3 equals zero. So let's try to factor it. We're going to have r here and r here. 1 and 3, 1 times 3 make 3, and so we'll need to have a minus there and a plus there so that we have the signs correct for the middle. So we factored it properly. So what we have here is r is equal to negative 1 over here, and r is equal to 3. So we found two roots of our related homogeneous equation. So we're not going to call it x of t because this is not the total solution. What we're going to call it is h of t, the solution to the related homogeneous equation uh, is the following. We're just going to construct it exactly like we've been doing before. C1 e to the 3t plus C2 e to the negative t. Right? So what I'm going to do is sort of leave this up here in black because this literally is half of the total answer. Half of the battle is just setting this equal to zero and finding the related homogeneous equation. This comes directly from the roots and we've done this many, many times before. Um, so remember I'm going to put remember the, and I'm going to call it end game. Remember where we're going, is what I'm basically trying to say. Where we are going is that the total solution of the original non homogeneous equation is going to be equal to the solution to the related homogeneous equation plus some particular solution. Now, let me just connect the dots for you. I think you see it. This comes right into here. So the total answer that we seek, we've already found half of it. And that's as easy as that. You just set the right-hand side equal to zero, find the roots, construct it, bam, that's half the answer. This half of the answer arises because of how our system is constructed. This, these derivatives, they come about based on how you built the thing. The p 